Ward six and a half million dollars. That's how much the city of Oxnard will pay a family for an accidental police shooting. News Channel 3's Kelsey Gerkins reports. This is the largest amount of money ever paid by the city of Oxnard in a wrongful death case. Today, the family of Alfonso Limon held a press conference to discuss the terms of the settlement. He was just such a loving person and we miss him every day. Just wish I could go back that day and do something different to help my brother and get him out. It happened in mid-October 2012. 21-year-old oh Alfonso Limon was shot several times by several officers. Between 16 and 21 bullet wounds. Limon was walking home with his brother Gerardo after working out in the gym at Pacifica High School when Oxnard police started shooting at him. Police never told us anything. Just, just once the gun, the, the shooting started, we were on our own from there. Since then, the police department admits officers mistook Lamone for suspects involved in a violent traffic stop nearby. Aimed at and shot at intentionally, and it was later that they realized he was not one of the people they were chasing. In the settlement, the city of Oxnard has agreed to pay the Lamone family $6.7 million. Money to us doesn't mean anything. That it's not going to bring our brother back. It's not going to take our pain away or our suffering. But knowing that these little things can prop for things like this to not happen again is what gives us hope. Besides money, the settlement also outlines several non-monetary aspects as well. The changes the Oxnard police must make include all police officers must wear body-mounted cameras as well as audio recorders. All patrol units must have mounted cameras and Alfonso Limon's name be completely cleared. Oxnard is also recognizing Limon by declaring October 13th Anti-Violence Day. The spot where Limon was killed will soon be marked with a plaque in his memory. We remind the community of what happened that night and uh, so we can prevent it from happening again. And More details about the case will soon be released by the Ventura County District Attorney's Office. Once the DA's review is complete, the Oxnard Police Department says they will comment on the DA's findings. Reporting in Oxnard, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3.